welcome back to another episode of Beards and Board Games with me, Georgie. I'm really sorry it's been so long since I've had a video. I've had a crazy couple of weeks, two, three weeks, just uh, learning about it. I got a new job. Um, I've been away training in Edinburgh or Edinburgh. Um, so it's it's just been a bit crazy, to be honest. But I thought we'd just jump straight back in with another review. So I'm going to do a quick one today. And it's one that's fairly popular in my eyes. And to be honest, um, actually, I'm not going to say anything else at the moment. But it's going to be Rhino Hero. Um, the game by Haba that plays from 2 to 5 players actually says on the age bracket on the side, ages 5 to 99. Um, it's a dexterity game. It's a really, really simple game to learn, so I'm just going to take us down and have a look at it just now. Okay guys, so in the box for Rhino Hero you will get a load of these cards, which actually come flat and you have to bend. I know how some of my... Viewers don't actually like to bend cards, so that might be a bit of a downside for them. You also got a sweet little Rhino Meeple, or Super Rhino, or whatever he's called, Rhino Hero, I guess would be his actual name. And then there's the starting card, so you can either start on sort of medium or easy, or you can start on difficult. Now, I'll explain what these mean in a second. So, let's just say, for example, we were starting it there. Each player would also get five of these roof cards. Now, on the roof cards, there are a number of different symbols on the top left-hand corner. Sorry, they are shiny, so it might be kind of hard to get them on. There's this one with the rhino on it. Let me see if I can get a better sort of image for you here with it. There we go. So, this one with the rhino on it basically means there's gonna, you're going to have to move the rhino meeple onto the location there, or as near to the location as you possibly can. Uh, there's a few blank ones as well. Uh, there's the plus one symbol, which does mean that you get to go again. Um, and obviously the first person, I was saying obviously here, but the aim of the game is to get out of your, uh, to run out of cards before anyone else does. And that person's then the winner or the person who knocks the tower down is the loser and then everyone else will win. So I'm trying to avoid the reflection as best I can here. So sorry about that. There's another rhino one. Um, there's the explanation card, which means you get to take a breather. So the next player has to take a rest and lose a turn. Uh, there's this symbol which means change direction, um, it just means that basically if, if it came to you on the left and it's in your turn when you play this card, it then goes back to the right. And then there's one more, see if I can find it for you. Oh, it's gone, there it goes. Uh, there's this one, which as you can see has got no actual symbols on the, the card here, but it does have the times two. So you lay this card and then you have to lay another card on top of it. Now, I'm just going to try and construct a quick tower here to show you how it would be played. Now, these symbols here on the cards are where you actually need to bend the roof tiles and lay them on and then you have to i say roof tiles sorry wall tiles and then you lay a card on top of that and hence stacking the game higher so there we go um now i'll just show you exactly how to play a game so at the start whoever's first player turn again needs to bend these cards and lay it as close to it as possible like this And then say, for example, they laid this card, making it one story high. So the next player would then say, okay, so they need to put their wall cards on. And then you put the rhino where the rhino symbol was. Obviously, you're probably struggling to see that now because it's there. Put that back on. I'll put the rhino symbol on. Now, next card, you would lay on top and try and put the wall tiles on again. Now this, like I said, this just continues until somebody knocks it over or somebody runs out of cards. Now, from my experience, the chances of somebody running out of cards is, a, is quite high, but the chance of somebody knocking it over is always higher, I find. And especially when you start playing these, these single type cards here. So these ones that have only got one wall on them and you play them back to back. Uh, the, the whole tower becomes a bit un, unlevel and, and uneasy in that instance. Um, I'll just try and show you one more. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up with the angle that I'm at here. So No, I'm not going to get it on screen. However, that's the game. You're basically stacking. That is all the rules. That is how simple the game is. It really is. Let's go and take a look at what I thought of Rhino Hero. Okay, guys. What was my opinion on Rhino Hero? <laughs> um... To be honest, this is probably one of the best seven quids that I've ever spent. Um, my parents like it, my friends like it, I like it. I haven't met anyone yet that once you've played it with them, they're not like, 
can we have another game? Can we have another game? It just seems to be that type of game. Um, it's a super fun dexterity game where you're trying to move the rhino. I've even seen people just collapse it on like the third floor. Um, but honestly, trying to get it like that 9 to 10. I've even heard of people going 13. I don't know how possible that is or how hard that's going to be uh, to get it that high. Um, it's a super fun game and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, that's Rhino Hero by Haba. Um, guys, again, I'm so sorry about the long wait. It's been since I've done another video. I'm going to start trying to pump them out a little bit <coughs> faster than what I've been doing with the last... Obviously, this is like my first one in like two and a half weeks. Uh, I've also got the UK Games Expo coming up, so I'll have a few videos from that too. Uh, it's just been a really, really hard time for me. So wish me luck on the best of my adventures in my new job. And I uh, really hope to, like I said, get some more videos out and start planning a bit ahead as far as having the new job and a lot more stuff to do. So... Thanks again for watching another episode of Beards and Board Games. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and you can follow me at Beards and Boards on Twitter. Other than that, I hope everyone's had a great couple of weeks and I wish everyone the best for me. Catch you guys later. This episode was sponsored by Gameslore, the UK's largest specialist games retailer, which can be found at gameslore.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.